All right, in this video, we're gonna see how to make a skateboard in the Onshape CAD program. So there's probably a million ways to do this, but here's how I would do it. I would actually start by drawing a sketch on our front work plane. So I clicked on the front plane and then hit new sketch. And we're gonna name this sketch uh, deck, because this is going to be the deck of our skateboard. Now I am not doing accurate skateboard measurements. I am just making a skateboard that's uh, aesthetically to scale. So we're gonna make a rectangle using the center point rectangle here. And I'm just gonna make it about five inches by let's say 0.2 inches. Uh, you know, that's a little thick. Let's go 0.18 inches. All right, and then I'm gonna grab my line tool and I'm gonna click in this bottom left corner and I'm gonna draw a line angled up and then we're going to grab our offset tool and we're going to offset that line to be 0.18 so that gives us two so that should now intersect with our deck and then i'm going to grab a line tool and just draw a line to close out that shape and if i want i can use my scissors tool to clean that up okay then i'm going to use my mirror tool to mirror that on the other side so i hit the mirror tool i select my center line and I just click on those three blue lines. So now I have a mirrored symmetrical board. I'm gonna hit the checkbox to confirm our deck. I'm also gonna hide my work plane, so I'm just gonna hit the eyeballs next to these work planes just to make it a little bit easier to see what's going on here. We're gonna hit extrude. We're gonna click on the two ends and the center. And let's extrude this to be, I don't know, 1.125. That looks like a good proportion. And we're gonna name this deck and hit our checkbox. All right, so that's looking pretty skateboard deck-like. Now we're gonna add our rounded edges here. So I'm gonna click on this work plane. So I'm actually gonna click on the angled surface and make a new sketch. And I'm gonna give myself a center line. So I'm gonna hit the line tool and I'm gonna hit the construction tool. And I'm gonna find the center point. So if I hover over the center here, I should find this little yellow square and I can draw a perfectly perpendicular line. Notice how this is locked in yellow to show me it's perpendicular. So there's my center point. I'm gonna hit escape to deselect all my tools and I'm gonna grab the, uh, the uh, let's see, the arc tool to click right here in the middle of my center, right down here in the corner, and we're gonna snap it to its tangential position. So notice how when I, oh, I can kind of free pull it but I get to a certain point where it snaps in place with a little tangent symbol. So we're gonna go there, which happens to be 0 0.538 uh, on my size board. So we're gonna do it again on the other side, like so, and hit our checkbox, and we can extrude these corners, hit remove, and we're gonna call this left deck now we can't mirror that unfortunately because these are opposing angles. So I'm now gonna do the exact same thing on the other angled deck. So I'm gonna grab my center line here. We're gonna grab our arc tool and make our tangential arc. Oops. Just using the snap in positions here. Again, these are not specific measurements right now. We're just making a kind of scaled deck. And we're going to extrude these corners. And we're going to name this right deck cut. All right, so there is our skateboard deck. Now, what we can do is we could uh, change the appearance. So I could actually rename this to be deck. And we can right click our part down here and say edit appearance and make it like a nice light tan wood. Um, if we want, we can actually, let's add a surface. So if I grab my thicken tool, I can click on the three surfaces here and let's thicken this by 0 0.01. And instead of hitting add, we're gonna hit new. And that's gonna give us a part two, which we can rename to be grip tape and edit the appearance of that to be black. And we can even round this bottom here a bit. So if I grab my fillet tool, I can click on my three bottom surfaces and let's try rounding it to say 0 0.05. All right, so there is our 
skateboard deck. Just about finished. Now let's start working on our trucks. So I'm going to flip this guy over. So we're looking at it from the bottom. And I'm going to click on the bottom plane, the bottom surface, and we're going to make a new sketch. And we're just going to call this truck face. All right. And let's give ourselves a center line. So I'm going to grab my line tool, my construction tool, and draw a line right down the middle. And we only have to draw one truck and we'll be able to duplicate it. So let's grab our center rectangle tool again and start with just a nice kind of truck mounting plate. Uh, I can make this a rounded corner rectangle by using my round uh, fillet tool or my sketch fillet tool here. So I can click on two sides and set a round like 0.05. So the cool thing is once you set the size once, it remembers it for the next ones. So I can work my way around setting rounded corners. Hit our checkbox. We're going to extrude this here. We're going to make it a new material. So that's actually going to start our truck material. And we're just going to extrude it to be, I don't know, I'm doing, let's do 0 0.065 here. All right. And that did just make part three, which we're actually going to edit the appearance. And we're going to make this like a nice silvery gray. And I'm going to rename this to be uh, left Okay, now we're going to click on the truck base, make a new sketch. Let's go ahead and draw a, another center rectangle. So I'm just gonna actually first grab my line and my construction tool, just to give myself center lines here to find my center point, like so. Grab my rounded rectangle tool and we're going to draw a rectangle, kind of right in the middle here. Let's extrude this. I'm just gonna pull this down. Let's make this like 0.25. Perfect. And then I'm gonna grab my fillet tool and we're gonna aggressively round these edges. Like so. All right. Now we're gonna click here, make a new sketch on this new rounded part. I'm going to grab my circle tool, although first let's give ourselves a center line to work with. Now we're going to grab our circle tool and we're going to make what's going to be the first part of our tube frame that grabs our wheels. We're going to extrude this circle and let's just go, I just want to go right to about the edge of my truck plate here show you a little pass. And the cool thing is I can actually say second end position and I can actually extrude both sides at once. Now I don't know my specific measurements because I have been keeping track. So I am just eyeballing this here, which is not the best way to do it. If you were trying to actually make a finished product, you'd want to know your specific measurements. So there we go. All right. Now let's go ahead and draw our, uh, our wheel here. We're actually, we're going to draw our wheel. Uh, yeah, we'll draw our wheel right on this thing. So we're going to actually click new sketch right on the end of our truck post here. And I'm going to grab my circle tool. And I want to draw a wheel that's just coming up to my truck plate like so. We're going to extrude this guy. Call it wheel. And it's a new material, and that's obviously way too large. So we're just going to make this a little bit more proportional to a skateboard wheel, like so. And we're going to grab our fillet tool and click on the outer edge. And let's find what a good fillet size is. That's looking pretty good. Let's grab our back edge. And there we go. We're now just fillet rounding this whole thing here. Like so. All right, I'm going to rename part four to B, wheel. Okay, now let's start duplicating these guys. So I'm going to click on my left truck and I'm going to hit copy. And this is actually going to bring up this little menu here and these arrows. And what I can do is I can then drag my copy down the board where I want the copy to be. 
hit our green checkbox. And that made part five, which we're going to rename to B. Uh, right truck. Notice that we're looking at it from the back. So if we look at it from the front, that's why I said left and right. And we're going to do the same for our wheel. So I'm going to click on our wheel and we're going to hit copy. And let's go ahead and move this guy in place. Just changing my view so we can see and move this guy in place here. Perfect. So there's our wheels. I'm going to rename this to be wheel two. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to click on wheel one and we're going to copy wheel one again. This time we're going to drag it to the other side of the truck. Now there is a front and back of our wheel. Okay, so I do have a different for the front, different sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to get this guy in position like so and we're gonna hit our checkbox. That made part seven. So we're just gonna rename this guy to be wheel three. Now we're gonna rotate this guy. So we're gonna click on wheel three. We're gonna hit our transform tool. We're gonna to go to rotate and we have to choose an axis. So I'm actually gonna click on the edge of my skateboard as our axis and I'm going to rotate this guy 180 degrees. That's going to give us the correct side out. All right, now we are gonna to have to transform this guy back in place. So if I click on my wheel and if I hit transform, then go to translate by XYZ, we can move this guy back in place. And change our view so it's easier for us to see. Scooching our wheel right in place here, like so. And now the cool thing is we can click on wheel three, we can copy wheel three and make our wheel four just by dragging wheel three down to our second truck. So we don't have to do the rotating again. So let's just get this guy in place. Like so. I go to my isometric view, we can see that we have our skateboard just about finished up. You can obviously add a lot more detail to the ends or to the nuts that go inside the wheels or to the trucks, adding bolts, really however you want to take this project.